all righty y'all so obviously yesterday um well i i <laughs> was so tired but obviously yesterday we got confirmation of the next banner unit which uh we already knew was going to be um coming right we already knew the next banner unit was going to actually be in fact zwai um zwai is the other part of i don't want to say she's technically the other part of i'm because apparently this character is in the elision group so i don't know if they would be actually considered duels right but the thing is they keep promoting this character to be with ein right and you might be like oh but the exes they're like you know together so it makes sense but it's like no because they don't promote like when they do these promotions right and showcasing a character they usually promote them with either they just promote them with their best partner that's usually what they do they did it for every character literally every character whoever their best partner was if it was summer and it was um what's her name privity like whoever it was right they always promote them with their best character or best partner and in this case that happens to be um i want to say ein right if you take a look this is like her burst her burst skill animation um, it's pretty cool. It's not. It's not really anything that crazy, actually. It's, I mean, this is like I guess the fan service, and then after that, it's wow, right? Um, and then she has like a little boom nuking effect where if you see Ayn, you can see Ayn right there. I don't see any true damaging buffs or anything like that. After a certain amount of shots, she does something, so we know that for a fact, right? So there's little things that we can analyze here when it comes to that. And then obviously, if we actually go to, let me switch my servers actually. Um, if we go to the actual in game, you can actually see her there as well in the game, just not like on actual characters or whatever characters list, but you can see her with Ayn. And now the question is, what are they trying to do here? Because if they are, are they going to make her a true damage buffer? That's my question, right? Is she going to be a true damage buffer? Um, I want her to be a burst too, because true damage right now seems to be like the team they're going for. Sustained damage clearly seems to just be like a summer thing. Now it's like true damage, because you have true damage, true damage from favorite items, true damage from clay, and true damage from obviously iron. Um, the one thing about the true damage team right now is even if you do include favorite items, the burst two situation is not really, oh my, it's been that long? Damn, I'll claim that later. Um, the burst two option isn't really that good, right? When we take a look at the burst two options for true damage, the only option right now is going to actually, in fact, be clay, which isn't that great of a thing because clay is on a 40 second cooldown, right? Um, she does give true damage, right? She does, you know, have the stacking ability and true damage on her burst skill, but it's just not enough, especially for a 40 second cooldown. And if you actually go into the game recruit, you can see Ayn is right or is Y is right there, right here. You can see her right here, right? So we know, um, obviously, is why we already knew she was going to be next into the game. Um, hopefully, your boy is able to get her because I'm not spending money, bro. I just don't want to. <laughs> I just can't, can't be bothered to. Uh, I can't be bothered to, bro. But, yeah, I do think what they should do is they should make her not necessarily a duo with Ayn because, I mean, we know they're not going to be a duo, right? Because Ayn is already a character who... who doesn't support nobody but herself right everything ein does is for herself right everything that this character does is for herself so if they were going to make why they would literally have to cater her to true damage rather than to what ein is doing i feel like or it would be a waste i feel like it would be a waste if they were just to cater to this one character right um because then you would kind of be forced to summon because this character is just that good um that's really there but true damage is where it's at right right now with the true damage team you have freema where is she where is she uh here right now with true damage you have freema i don't even have a collection on her you got freema with her favorite item where she gives true damage like a crazy amount of it too yeah her true damage she gives a lot of it right true damage right here when you're in the wake up status all allies 36 percent right that's pretty good right here she gets true damage and then on her phase three which is her skill two she will give again all allies more true damage when you're in the wake up status and you attack with a full charge so that's already like a staple freema like a staple for the free like the true damage team right and when it comes to burst twos and when it comes to burst 
like just not birds twos and threes, but when it comes to birds threes, you have obviously Laplace and her favorite item where she gets mad true damage on her burst skill only. That's really, I feel like Laplace is just a placement holder though, right? Laplace has a favorite item, so her true damage is like, her true damage is good, right? When you use her burst skill, but I feel like they're going to make a character that's like fully catered to true damage. Like I would say Ayn is a character who is fully catered to true damage, right? When you look at her kit, everything is like kind of just catered to true damage attack buffs summons the near feather near feather deals true damage and then she just gives herself true damage here this is all based on true damage she, the true damage has to be that big of a buff because when you use her burst she does damage right so i can't wait to see what zwai does um do we have anything else on zwai like do we have like her update or anything this came out eight hours ago y'all so i'm late but um there's nothing else on her but yeah, she is an Elysian though. That's that's the one thing I do know of. She is an Elysian. I think I could find something. Let me see. Well, this is it. I guess this is all that is there is to it. I'm assuming this is like a event, an event wallpaper right there, right? But yeah, Zwai is going to be coming out. Will she be coming out with new content though? That's kind of like the question. Will she be coming out with the new interception EX or whatever? Um, because you got to remember, y'all. This is the start of August, right? And clearly, it doesn't seem like there has to be a major, major update for us to get, like, a permanent content, which is which is usually, like, not how that goes, right? Oh, right, Garp is trending. I got to go watch that episode. Um, But it's not usually how that goes, right? People don't, um, like, the games usually don't drop permanent updates with just random updates, and this one is definitely just a random update, so... I do not know if we're going to be having the, you know, interception, whatever, with this one. I will say this is probably a skip regardless just because it's like if this character is that good for true damage and that good for buffing Ayn, it's going to be very hard for people not to skip her, Um, especially like a collab is coming. We already know chat a collab is coming. That's not a speculation. That's not hopes. Nikkei said a collab is coming. So it's like every t update that goes by that we don't get the collab means we're getting closer to a collab, right? And then there's just literally some months where we cannot get a collab. We are not able to get a collab in October because October would have to go from a collab into an anniversary. I doubt a game would promote. I mean, I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, to promote a collab. And then after the collab, it's straight to the anniversary. That's actually like a pretty good marketing move, I feel like. Um, and then after the anniversary, just don't even expect anything because everything is packed. You got Christmas, New Year's, all this extra stuff. It's, it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, you guys definitely let me know what you think. Let me know if you're summoning or not just based on, I guess, the character's looks that's what you guys usually care for anyways so uh yeah but you guys let me know it's your boy zioxus and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i'm out bye